In this video, we'll take a look at what's new in shortcut version 21.10.31. Let's dive straight in. The key main thing that's available in this feature is the ability of markers that you can see over here. So what you can do now is you can actually uh, create the markers and the purpose of markers is to help you plan out the video. For example, there may be something that you may, uh, you may want to cut out. Let's say for example, uh, I want the car to turn out here. However, I want to replace this clip with something or maybe you want to add an effect or add some text so by marking your video you are not really editing it right now but you want to just mark it to create a reminder for yourself okay so let's say you have a marker over here and then uh, probably somewhere around here uh, you can create another marker and that would be the point where you want to add some text for example or you want to create uh, some effects right so you're not getting the effects right now but you just want to mark it so that you know that's where you want to uh, make some changes. Another thing that you can do with markers is also you can actually mark out something for a certain section. For example, uh, let's say from this section to this section and that's called a span marker. And what it does, it allows you to say, okay, I want to replace this section with a B-roll or with another clip. All right, so you can actually change the colors of your markers in a shortcut and it allows you to also uh, create notes so that you know, okay, in the future, let's say for example, this is marker number three. Uh, you want to do something with it. Let's say you want to mm, put that B roll. All right. By having markers, it allows you to uh, quickly work out your video where you want to place certain things. For example, whether it's effects, tags, or maybe you want to put some different uh, sound effects, for example. Now one other thing with markers is that now it allows you to export based not only just from your timeline but it allows you to also export from your marker. So no longer do you need to do a workaround to uh, export a certain section of, uh, of your video clip. Uh, so now with this marker you can actually easily do that and once you click export that section will be exported into your uh, in a video. There's a few other things new in shortcut it allows you to quickly uh, now uh, select sections for example let's uh, let me just uh, cut this up in this uh, video into different different sections now in the past if you want to select multiple sections you can actually you have to select section by section like what I'm doing right now so this is no longer the case uh, now you can actually select one and click on shift key and actually you can select all the clips on your timeline that makes moving it much easier it also allows you to uh, copy certain sections of a clip and then you can actually paste it to a different uh, video track okay and it makes it so much easier rather than do it uh, manually one by one so your editing will actually go a whole lot faster so these are main changes in the shortcut if you want to learn more about shortcut and how to get up to speed fast consider uh, checking out what's on the screen right now the playlist on my youtube channel or consider taking my course the link is in the description below. Until the next time.